<laughs> what do you mean I'm not doing it right? I dunga dunged as much as I could dunga. My issue with Loose, I mean, I love the film. Mm -hmm. I thought it did a really good job with race. Not so much with gender. It's not that's that. My, that's my hot take. That's your hot take? <laughs> well, you better, you better keep it warm, buddy. So, the film sets up this dichotomy between Miss Wilson and Loose. Miss Wilson is the old world Booker T. Washington slow progress. Cool. Whereas Luce is the revolutionary, he's Franz Fanon, he's let's let's bring the system down and, and put ourselves forward. On the other hand, okay. you have the whole sexual assault plot or rape plot yeah. where Stephanie Kim is too drunk to gang rape. <laughs> You, can, you don't have to whisper it. <laughs> Deputy Kim is too drunk to give consent at the party. At some point, I definitely said I wanted them to stop. Luce uses that as a tool within his larger plot to do something revolutionary about race. So he's willing to use a woman who actually got yeah. raped. And that's a problem. <laughs> well, he's just too immature to put all of his ideas in practice. I mean, he definitely, I think, made some pretty uh, revolutionary moves. That's true. And, I mean, like, he basically set off a bomb at his school. He's, he does get, <laughs> he does get Miss Wilson fired. He gets Miss Wilson fired. By setting off fireworks. Yeah. Which, you know, that's, I guess. That's like the whole, that's the whole that's thing. Whole, that's the whole thing. He completely frames her and gets rid of her and is. So from that perspective, he does carry out the revolutionary act. I just think it doesn't really matter that much because it wasn't big enough to be revolutionary in the sense of he changed like the culture or environment. It was uh, immature in the way that it was just revolutionary for his own life and the way that he felt about himself, the way that he viewed himself and um, his like really small group of friends. Well, I guess the argument that Luce would make is that he was taking down the person who was holding black people back at the school. She was saying, That's you can fair. only let a little yeah. bit of light through. She says that. We're all in there together, whether you like it or not. And only so much light gets in that box loose. Some people get it, and some people don't. But it's not on you to decide who gets it and who doesn't. You're damn right, it's on you! So she can't let Deshaun through. He's too... Black. He's, 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 too, he's too black. Right? No, Luce, it's literally, Luce, Luce, yeah, Luce it's part black. of the metaphor. Exactly. No, Luce isn't black. He's Luce. I'm not interested in being the next Deshaun either. I don't like Deshaun. We're both black or Licky. Yeah, but he's like black, black. Then what am I? You're Luce. He's the yeah. light, right? He, he's, he's the lighter skin and he, everything. He's Obama. Gotta have at least one Obama, right? Otherwise, all that little up by your own bootstraps bullshit, it don't apply. Right, so she says you can't let everyone through. She says, you know, Devon has to go. He has to take... Take that L? Take, take, <laughs> that's, yeah, in your words, take that L. Um, Thank you, Professor. <laughs> and, uh, and take... And take, and take the blame. Take, yeah, take, take the blame for the pot that they've all been smoking. Yeah. And and lose his running scholarship. Whether Luce is a true revolutionary or not is is somewhat com complicated, but in, in some ways he actually is. And I also don't think it matters for the overall point that his views are revolutionary. Whether or not he executed it in practice, I think is kind of like. Eh. The confirmation of the fact that he's actually doing the Booker T. Washington thing. Yeah is his speech at the end. They picked loose, which means light. Because my mom always said that there was a little beam of light shown inside me. If only they could sweep the darkness of those first seven years away. I thought about that as I was figuring out what to say to you all tonight. And I realized how lucky I am to be an American. Right, there's that scene where he's giving his speech in the, in the, 
alone, and that's like the most true self, authentic self we ever see of him, him giving the speech alone. When I first met my mother, she couldn't pronounce my name. She tried over and over to get the emphasis on the syllables correct, but she just couldn't. But then he, he does do the same but exact then he, speech but later. Then, then he gives the actual speech. But you think he's gonna, you can hear, sort of hear the speech being almost revolutionary, but then holding back. Like it's like, when I first met my mother, she couldn't pronounce my name. She tried over and over to get the emphasis on the syllables correct, but she just couldn't. So my father suggested that they rename me. They renamed me. Yeah. And then he sort of laughs about it. He doesn't say, my, my slave master's renamed me. He doesn't go there. I don't think that was the point. I think it was hinting at that. So my father suggested that they rename me. They picked loose. And, uh... I mean, it is like... <laughs> They couldn't pronounce my name, they renamed me. That's fair. So, I mean, I think that was just sort of a drive point to home of, of like, well, well-meaning white ignorance. <laughs> Stephanie Kim gets assaulted by several dudes. Um, possibly including Possibly include. I, I want to say yes. Let's take a step back. We don't okay. know whether... We don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess we don't we'll know 100% we'll that he's we'll involved. Know. We'll never know. We do know that Stephanie Kim is convinced beyond reason that he's not involved to the point where we question her. Yeah. I think that was the point though, yeah. When I woke up, Lisa was there. He said he found them and told them to stop. <laughs> and he stayed with me the rest of the night. Is it possible that... Was Luce one of the guys? I mean, he wouldn't do that. But uh, he just wouldn't. I don't think she was lying when she told the story to Amy. Right? Yeah. All I could hear was breathing. There were hands everywhere. I don't. She I don't think she knows either. She like she's lying. I don't think she knows either, and I think that. That was real. Yeah. But Luce is perfectly fine with that just being a tool within his larger web just to get what he wants. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. I think Luce is, the whole point is is that showing the kind of person Luce is, is just someone that is ready to protect himself no matter what and is willing to use people and take away their humanity for his own purposes. And yes, he can say that he's got grander ideals, he's trying to break down, you know, expectations and walls and racism, but at the end of the day, you know, he's just taking advantage of some high school girl and his friends and, you know, Deshaun, who got kicked off the team, who's the one that went and spray painted on Miss Wilson's door. Right. And, so it's revealed at the end of the movie that Deshaun was the one carrying out all of his little plots. Mm -hmm. After all, who would you use to do your little errands while you were busy establishing alibis? <laughs> it's not the same thing. Miss Wilson says it and Miss confirms it. Confirms it by saying, oh no, that's not the same. Yeah. Right? So we know for a fact that the shot is the one thing up with a plot. Yeah. And why does Luce do that? He does that because he's able to kind of bring Deshaun into his larger plot by appeasing him by bringing down this wall set. He said, you know, he has I want to make this right. Yeah. He has that whole scene where, you know, that's true. Well, he Deshaun's he like, him, yeah. oh, you have more privilege than I do. Like, they want their own Obama. It's finished. Matter of fact, how many times we smoke together, Luce? Real talk, how many times you come to my crib and blaze? But Wilson finds weed in my locker, and now I'm off the team. That's my scholarship, gone. Why me and not you, my nigga? Answer the question, why me and not you? I mean, I don't know. You don't know. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. It's because they want you to win. I mean, I didn't ask for this, man. Oh, you didn't ask for this. Well. So what, you want to trade or something? Yeah. yeah, I didn't think so. Deshaun, I 
want to make this right. Just, it was just all like manipulating people. <laughs> Correct. Deshaun is manipulated, right? Oh yeah. yeah, big time, big time. Well, he's got he's got nothing to lose. He already feels like there's nothing to look forward to, though. He's not going any further than high school. He lost his scholarship, That's, yeah, and he's hanging around with you know he lost his entire friend group. He can't be on like you know the uh, track team anymore. So he's like he doesn't care. He's like smoking weed on school grounds, like. Obviously, he doesn't care if he gets expelled or not. So, I think that was a way for him to one get revenge and then two be reaccepted into the group. Um, and as much as he's like, you know, Luce doesn't feel a part of the group. Like Sean definitely doesn't feel a part of the group. Steph, because I think that's a really, really good choice for you. I know it wasn't on your original list, but I. You told her to come to me. I'm sorry? You told her what to say. Damn, what you talking about? Please explain what you're talking about. I think right? Miss Wilson's just been through a lot. But Luce is perfectly fine with that just being a tool within his larger web just to get what he wants. Yeah. And kind of slide the whole sexual assault under the table. Because yeah. Miss Wilson wants to bring it yes. out in the open. Yes, she wants to bring it forward. She wants to get the guilty parties in trouble. Yeah. Right? She wants to hold everyone responsible. Did you put Texas Pete on your ballot? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Colburn Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.